So, happy Monday. Today we're moving right along in chapter, or module one, that's what it's called in Eureka Math. And this morning we're talking about lesson 1.7. And your goal for today is to be able to round decimals using a vertical number line. Okay, another way to say that is you want to be able to round decimals to any place value, maybe to the tenths place or to the hundredths place or to the ones place or the tens place using a vertical number line. Take a moment right now and draw yourself a really quick place value chart that looks like this. You only need it to go from the tens place to the thousands place. So you draw a couple of horizontal lines and one, two, three, four vertical lines. And then go ahead and label it tens, ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. How many hundreds do I have in the number 155, Jack? One. One hundred. How many tens do I have? Five. Five. And how many ones do I have? So I could write the number 155 like that on my place value chart. Go ahead and write that on your chart too. Now, instead of calling it 1 100s and 5 tens, could I also say that I have 15 tens? Yeah. So I could also say 15 tens and 5 ones, huh? <coughs> could I also say, how many ones do I have all together? Yeah, Orhan, so I could call this 155, huh? So no matter how I write this number, whether I say it's 100 plus 5 tens plus 5 ones, or 15 tens plus 5 ones, or 155 ones, do those all represent the same amount? Yes. Yeah. Now, what if I said I wanted to round this number, 155, to the nearest 10? Which one of these decompositions would help you best round the number to the nearest tens? Does this one help us? 155 one, t one one hundred, five tens, and five ones. Does that help us? Yes. No, we're trying to round it to the nearest tens place. So this one helps us, right? Because we know that down here, and this is my vertical number line that I want you to draw, I have 15 tens and five ones. Or sorry, I have 15 tens down here. And what would be the next amount of tens I could have? I could have 16 tens. Okay. Now, how, how many ones would I need to add to get from 15 tens to 16 tens? How many ones would I need to add? Alina? Five ones. Five ones? If I added five ones to 15 tens, would I get to 16 tens? No. Ten, ones. Ten ones, right? And so what number is right in the middle of 15 tens and 16 tens? Um, I have 15 tens and how many ones? Five. And five ones. Okay, so do you see how this is the midpoint between 15 tens and 16 tens? Yeah. And so that's where my number is. 155 is right in the middle. So is that closer to 16 tens or is this closer to 15 tens? Neither. It's right in the middle, but what do we do for rounding? We know if it's right in the middle, we round it uh, up. So 15 tens and 5 ones needs to go up to 16 tens. So rounded to the nearest 10, it would be 16 tens, otherwise known as what number? Good. Now, what if we want to round it to the nearest hundreds place? Does this help us? Does this number line help us? No. Not really. We need to draw a different number line, huh? Now, if on my vertical number line I have one ten and two tens, what, what's the next digit? Like, what's the next place value that's smaller than the tens? One. Ones, right? And how many ones would it take me to get from one ten to two tens? Ten. Ten, ten ones. Okay. And so what number would be right in the middle? Fifteen ones. Fifteen ones or one ten, ten and, five ones. and five ones, right? Yeah. So if I have a number that's one ten and six ones, is that closer to two tens or is it closer to one ten? Closer to two tens. Yeah. If I have one ten and three ones, is that closer to two tens or one ten? One ten. So do you guys see how any number, if I have five or more ones, it would be closer to two tens? But if I have less than five ones, it would be closer to one ten? That's what rounding is all about. Rounding is all about figuring out if it's closer to the upper limits or the bottom limits. Okay, and that's why a vertical number line is really good in helping us figure out if it's closer to the upper limits or lower limits. I could rewrite this one, one, and five tenths as how many tenths? Fifteen. Fifteen tenths. And then my seven hundredths are still there. Now, what if I don't want to write it as using any tenths? If I only wanted to express this number using hundredths, how many hundredths would I have, Aaliyah? One. Mm -hmm. 
read me, if I wanted to use this number only using hundredths, how many hundredths would I have? One hundred fifty-seven hundredths. You got it. Okay. Now we know that if we're trying to round the number to the nearest tenth, we want to look at this version. The reason for that is because we have tenths and we have one space to the one place value to the right, which is the hundredths. Okay. So my lower limit would be fifteen tenths, and what would my upper limit be? Sixteen tenths. Now let's just think for a second. If I'm trying to move from 15 tenths to 16 tenths, what place value am I adding? I would, what's the next smallest place value? It would be the hundredths. hundredths. And how many hundredths would it take me to move from 15 tenths all the way up to 16 tenths? Ten. 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 So what's the midpoint? It would be 16 ten, or 15 tenths plus how many hundredths? What's in the middle? Arun? Five. Five. Yeah, so the midpoint would be 15 tenths and 5 hundredths. Now let's look at the number we have. We have how many hundredths do we have? Seven. Seven. Is that more or less than 5? So our number 157 or 1.57 is right here. Is that closer to 16 tenths or is it closer to 15 tenths? 15, 16 tenths. Good. Okay, so rounding this number 1.57 rounded to the nearest tenth would be 16 tenths or 1.57. Six. One and six tenths.